are very much rural communities and geographically because of the national forest and wilderness area there's only a couple of roads in and out. Uh, Copper Basin Medical Center was the option, the only option for a lot of families here for any kind of health care. I, I know most communities feel ownership to their area of businesses and hospitals but here it truly was ownership. It was funded uh, through an employee initiative through the uh, Tennessee Copper Company. Uh, the company contributed money, the employees contributed money. There were small clinics and hospitals here prior to that, but nothing to the size of what Copper Basin Hospital was. There's no local primary care. Well, there, I think there's one or two doctors that are still seeing patients, but a lot of people have had to find new primary care physicians. There is no emergency room, uh, and because we're located up against two state lines, if you're relying on TennCare for, to pay for your medical care, your options are going back toward Cleveland. It's a 45 minute drive through a narrow two lane road through the National Forest and a river gorge, but it is very easily blocked. Well, one thing I worry about is that, that family with a child that needs that emergency care in the middle of the night and they're not able to get it. Uh, and I worry that people are putting off or just not getting um, medical care because the logistically and the expense they cannot make that trip to Cleveland.